I'm up here. This is perfect. Hi. I guess I should get chat going. We're hosting Mr. Arkansas. Interesting. Talk to me. Uh, you've called uh, Exit Host Mode Chat Line. My name is Chat Chat Linus. Uh, let's have a look at my shortcut keys. Oh, it looks like none of them are set. <clears throat> Hi. Do you want to know how I get around Ableton without stabbing myself in the fist? It's quite simple. <sighs> All right, first things first. So, hello, welcome to A Little Help. This is where I help a little bit with things that you might need a little help with, helpfully. Helpfully yours. Um... Who's we got? Oh, it's Sof it's Sophie Mint Potion. It's it's different. So you know we got this is a program where wherein we can record, we can stop. Um, let's see. I like to toggle loops. I like to toggle my input, my output, the punch in and out. Um, what else? Uh, let's see. What else do you have? Um, inside of a MIDI clip, there are even more mappable features if I were to go and create a clip. <coughs> Namely, this cat right here, the preview MIDI button. <coughs> Amazing. MIDI pre-listen. It seems like a fake word, yeah? Uh, what else do I normally have in my default set? Normally, I only have one kit of some kind and one audio track, even though I'll generally use more MIDI than not. Uh, sure, we'll use that. There's another record button, that's right. Um, there are two record buttons in Ableton, that's probably why it's so popular. Um, let's get rid of you. I have a reverb and delay kind of in there. And then let's add a limiter to the master. Master. And uh, there we there we go. Let's see what else do I do? Oh, for tap tempo, we use tilde. I use tilde. You could use what you want to use. Metronome is going to be E, lowercase. Um, I think this is the follow um, arrangement. It's F. And then this other button is going to be back to arrangement, G. And then in this other view, we're good. It's still there. Sweet. Go back to automated parameters. And you can customize it even further. As a matter of fact, you can customize it per set. But I'm not about to do that. <coughs> I'm going to make myself a template. Using MME and direct audio, yeah. There shouldn't be any issues with that. So, um, when all is said and done, we're going to save the current set as default. Um, this means whenever I open up live, I'm going to have these wonderful options. So, like, one thing that Ableton doesn't have is um, a shortcut key for arming and select, or arming and muting and soloing different tracks. Fortunately, there is some kind of thing called Max for live. So what is this? Samples from Mysterious Beyond. Whoa, that's even more mysterious than I expected. Um, what I might want to do is let's add a new folder. Because here's a little help stuff on the desktop. I want to go into the data. I usually, on most computers I use, I have a utils thing. So this is where we have things like ripcord represent. And uh, Family Tracker, Defle Mask, BizHawk is cool, Sunbox, you might have seen on this show. I'm going to make a new folder called uh, M4L Customs. Because in the desktop, uh, if I go to the desktop really quickly, oh, so many things, huh? M4L. I want it. What the? Oh, utilities. Right. 
I want to start making scripts that we can put in here. And an example of one of those scripts would probably be, uh, I wonder if I can just pull it off of, off of the Chrome. Let's check my email really quick, you guys. Inbox. What's going on, Twitch chat? What is up? I don't know. I feel like, so. you know, I started on time. Hello, hello, persons. Is that a robot? That's Nightbot. And arbitrary person say hello. Um, I don't want to try and pronounce your name wrong. Um, what's this? I can prove my coding skills by joining World Code Sprint 20, 2017. Um, I think it's either in here or it's in Dropbox. I'm going to check out both. I have uh, a folder that I've shared with one of our moderators. Tomiki, hello. Um, ADD is coming this afternoon, as far as I know. Brian has not uh, called to cancel as of yet, and we do have it set up in the other room. So, thank you so much for joining. The title is wrong. That's some boo. I thought I changed the title. I gotta have a word with Nightbot or the Twitch dashboard, or I could do it myself. Uh, dashboard, dashboard, dashboard. What, what, what do you want, Twitch? What is this? I'm afraid. What do you want from me? We should be logged in. I'm afraid. Oh my gosh, we're not logged in. Everything's wrong. Let's log in. Does anyone know the password? I have the password for Angry Crow. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe it's this. <sighs> okay, I'm not going to. I'm not going to try and guess what that the password is right now. There are other things to do. I'm looking for a selective or max for live. Or what is the t file type? Am. Select. Solo arm mute selected track. Is this my new one? Mm -hmm. Well, let's download this ADV file. Uh, just to the desktop. We'll move it in a second. So solo arm mute is a is a Max for Live script, um, and I just put it in there for safekeeping. You did. Someone's here. So what I, what? No, this is not the right file. It's you, you, solo arm mute, selected track. So this is a pretty cool script. I generally. Matthew Hull's here. Manage device file, cannot access the Max device. What is wrong? Location missing. Oh, it's an AMXD. That's the name of the file type. ADV does nothing. This looks like it's probably. Thirty years too late. Hi, dude. Sounds like Matt's here. Yeah, it took me a while to figure that out. Who did I send this to? Cameron Geyer. Perfect. I want this file. I want this file. I'm going to save that file. Yeah. It's good stuff. Huzzah. We had somebody walk in the building. Sophie saved the day. Um, Tommy Knot has a good name. Who? But who? Tomiki, are you bringing are you bringing all of these folks? First ravioli, uh, ravioli river Raymond. Cool. Yeah. All right, so we're not gonna replace that file with this file. I'm gonna actually get rid of that ADV file. 
Because I don't know what it is. What the? Delete, my friend. You got it. All right, so we'll go over here. That's what I want. It's a pretty small file. Yes. So what this does, if I have a track selected, I can solo mute it, and I can arm it. Right? So what I do is I map this now to S, uh, A, and X, capital letters. And this is actually super useful when it works. Oh. Oh, how about when I'm not in MIDI mode? Now I can do it. So I'm pressing Shift X, Shift A, and Shift X on any track. And the way that this works is through Max for Live. The wonders of Max for Live. It's a really nice little portable scripting system. And there's a couple of things about this version of the script that I kind of want to change. So hopefully, Windows will just do its job. From presentation mode, let's go into building mode. Right, right. So I wonder if I can, like, for example, change, yeah, the size of these buttons. Can I make this bigger? Let's zoom in. Cool. So we can use this tool to make user interfaces in Ableton. I'm into that. And I want to keep adding functionality as well as making it super slick. So that seems to align itself pretty well. And I'm just going to do something like that. I guess the only way that I can really get them to be the same height is by doing this alignment first and then doing that alignment. So like you, and you. Sweet. So can I save this? Save, save, save. Perfect. Yeah, you know, I liked where you were before. You don't look great. If we can get into properties of all of these objects, uh, where is like, is this the thing, inspector? All right, and I can change the background color and the text color. We're gonna make our own version of it. Oh, we do need something that like, you know. I guess maybe, if, can I duplicate it and get like a black over white type of thing? Is there like an outliner as well? I'm curious. You're American. Wow. Why are you bringing why are you bringing dad jokes to the game? So I have an unlock presentation. Presentation. It's beautiful. So this is cool. What it does. I map my keys here, S-A-X, and uh, you know, like like evil Samus. And this is a neat thing. So what I, what I do like about it, oh, and it mutes groups. But it doesn't know how to solo groups. And what would really be useful is arming groups. It seems like what it's doing is it's either, like if I select this one and then that one, the object that it's manipulating is the last selected object, um, which is, you know, it's neat. It gives me like a means for quickly navigating, like I can solo and solo, like I can kind of toggle it. Um, I don't think I can arm select or arm exclusively. Like I would like to arm you and you. Oh, we can do that. Okay, that is another pre preference 
in life. But this is this is a thing. This is how this is how that workflow goes faster. Hey, those in chat, send me some ideas for like songs and things to things to make. I kind of wanted to do a one-hour convo, but I didn't announce it in the in the thing in Discord. Just make a truck. But I'm also like way behind. You know, that was another thing I wanted to do. Is like maybe I'll just do a remix of one of the the Atrian Odyssey tracks. These these are all possibilities. Distinct. So let's see. Oh, arm it. Nice. Fun for the whole family. So I guess while we ponder that, because like you can't, you know, you can't, you can't catch up. You're never gonna catch up. Um, you just have to, you just have to show up and do it. Well, hello. Untold two has bloody fight. That song is awesome. Well, given the opportunity to actually do something for y'all, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna make a new project. Instead of Sweet Vanilla, it's gonna be called e Tree and Odyssey. E Get on the E-Train. Uh, you know what? I can't, I can't not rock that. Okay, so, saving that blank set. Let's go listen to this song, eh? Untold 2 has bloody fights. Okay. Outlook, yes, that is exactly... S S E Y. We're betting it all. Okay. Look at the bass down. Let's see, Epic High, Underground Railroad. What is this? Ooh, this is pretty soulful. I kind of had something like this in mind as a remix. Okay. Funky. I'm proud of you, Tomaki. You weigh less than I do. Even though I'm so small, I'm a very dense individual. Okay. I'm not going to get anywhere if I listen to it ten times. Let's, uh... I guess go through this intersection. Um. I need the, uh, like an organ type thing. Let's do it. 
yes. Hey, Robbie. Can you stop that computer from going to sleep, dude? It's making my stream look like a tentacle. I wonder if he can hear me. Wouldn't it be crazy if we came back from this, from this, uh, sleeping break and then, like, I was done? Hey, I'm just kidding. Wow. So how is it that, oh, yeah, 6'4 at 215 is pretty good, dude. I think I'm in the 250 neighborhood. What's this? I guess it's kind of workable. Uh, yeah, knew it. Me too. Um, you know what? I I I want to surprise you and say we're gonna make a bunch more music. So, I'm I'm happy to oblige. We're never gonna see that screensaver again, and if we do, it's Robbie's fault. Fair, fair. So that key I set up earlier, it allows me to preview notes. I could just hit P on any old thing. Yeah. Ooh, what's that what difference between this and that? Oh yeah, we definitely want that. Definitely, definitely want that. It's a little bit of noise. But that is not a good rim. That. Can I get that like? Yeah, side step, yeah. All you did was cut out carbohydrates and lost it fast. I, I, that's the way to go. All right, so I think that's the drum sound I want to play with for now. This time I have a MIDI controller, it's over here. I don't know, it might be balanced. There we go. Nice. Just need I need a groove to kind of base this around. And I feel like we can try playing it live actually. So I can set loop region and I can toggle looping all within seconds. It's amazing. Um oh crap, there is one more keyboard shortcut I forgot. That's this guy. Hey. This allows me to overdub. So if I have my metronome on. Then I can hit record, and I can let it roll, and we can talk about this. And yes, you can be biased. I did not pick your song, Tommy Not. However, I might have enough time to do it next. We'll see. Uh, how about if I arm this track? I guess I probably will end up quantizing it later anyway, you know? What is this? Oh, that really shouldn't have any automation. Just, just, just saying. Uh, let me consolidate you real quick. It's actually not too far off. Considering the subdivision I'm looking at, not bad. Let's, let's do that. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a little bit late. Let's go up a step. So the thing about this that I don't like compared to the original There's, even though it's not on the grid, I like that feel, right? However, that's neither here nor there. Uh, what am I looking for with this guy? Is there a shaker in this set? Ta da I see that. Matt, you have problems, man. All right, so we got another video track. All right. Uh, I want uh, not brass. I want bass. I'm just using a bunch of built-in Ableton sounds. Some I mean, half of them that's pizzicato, my man. Yeah. So I can arm that track. Uh, I should probably make it exclusive because it slows me down a little bit, but. All right. Didn't cover. What's your new toy? Oh. Let's see. Hey, chat. What's up? Tell me about it. Okay. Interesting. I guess we'll put some keys in there and then get that melody down and we'll have like a ensemble that we can mess with. This is Mr. Benjamin. Who is he? <laughs> I'm glad that everyone's here. Chat is so darn energetic today, and, and you being energized energizes me. Let's energize each other with energy. Um, use your inner battery to... I should do some sort of weird meditative like music composition thing. I just don't always have the right mindset. But with you guys, yeah, thank you. Uh, so I want, I think we can figure it out. It is, it is you. Okay, I know I have this guy, but do you have like a really good... Hmm. No, I kind of like that noise. Let's try it out. Right, except for that whole thing. Okay. Um, let's make arm exclusive. For MIDI work, it's a little easier. Exclusive arm. I wonder why. Because oh, now I can. Well, well, it just that, we gotta fix that script. Soon enough. It's actually the whole reason why I opened this thing up. But I kind of was. 
Really? No, 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 that's not gonna work. Kinda like dirty. Yeah. Sound good though? Something like that. Yes. Send imaginary food. Oh my gosh. But why? Why would you do that? Alright, so I'm not like the most skilled piano player. So what I'm going to do instead is remember my tempo and play it at something that's a bit more manageable. And now we can get a real feel for that swing. Ooh. Here's the fun fact. So, even though I was kind of running over myself here in this dub, you can see that it's recording a history, right? So, what we can do instead, if you feel so inclined, is actually disable the uh, overdub mode, or the MIDI, yeah, it is MIDI dub, MIDI overdub. Um, and this will allow us to just take multiple takes across the same loop. Instead, what happens here is a whole other magical thing where I have all of that stuff. Where did it go? It's all right here. So I actually have like a couple, of, I guess this would be two sections built out, right? A couple, a couple of sections. Assuming that these things loop. They don't. Shh. It's okay. We can fix that. We just have to do this. Okay, we're good. So it's a one and a half. Not as good. Not as, maybe two is fine. Because I have to get that melody in there, right? So I have eight bars. Chat tight again. Tomiki, I'm proud of you. You know, you're fighting the good fight. Adjustments to this patch. It's 
What's up, James Rogers of the dudes? Yo, so I'm making a weird, like, funky version of this track. So maybe, like, a flute would be pretty funky? I don't know. Let's get an instrument out of the PAX stack. Oh, even better. Okay, okay. Um, bassoon is pretty funky. Yeah, what do you think? Bassoon? How about English horn? N yeah? 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 Maybe clarinet's a little bit rounder? Or, you know, it's a little bit more harsh. I kind of like this guy. This is moments where I kind of want another guy. This is what I say when I go to the bathroom. You named your hand James. That is just rough. Rough. All right, so I guess I have to learn how to play. Oh, bass clarinet, yeah. Okay. Talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Is this cheating? Okay, so Alright. I guess we're gonna have to sequence this a bit. The good news is it's pretty straight. Alright, it's a little... You know what? I think maybe the whole ensemble. I think we'll throw the whole bucket of crabs at it. Because I think, like, you know, in unison it would be pretty good. Piano is just so rude. Bum, 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 bum. So, here's the neat part, I guess, because we know we know it's four bars. Do 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 do. Tried the kappa with the cap K. What? You should definitely be like you know how there's like the horse head guy, and it's like. Welcome to the internet. I'll be your guide. Um, <laughs> you could be like, welcome to Twitch. You could be the welcome to Twitch guy. But I don't know what your mask would be. One and two and two and two and two and two and two and two. Well, there's only one way to find out. So with my same preview key, the capital P, right here. You can barely see it. You can barely see it. It's lowercase p anyway. Um, I can actually step in these notes with that mode on. Big deal, right? I don't know if that is... Kai, you feel me? Let's try it again. Ooh. 
Oops. Something like that. Alright, so timing is terrible. It'd be like faster if I learned it. It really Yeah, this this programming thing. I guess we'll just plug it one at a time. Well, let's let that be the intro too. How about this? Dupe. What's going on, dudes? I'm being smelled. How do I smell though? You want to talk about Ableton? Dude, that green screen looks good. <laughs> it's not actually keyed out right now, is it? It is, though. Oh, it is? Yeah. God damn it. I'm well, telling we're you. A little, a little taller than you down here. So yeah, there's a, we're way close to the wall. Guys, we have so many cool guests today. Did you, did you do this, or? What? Did you write this? I mean, I'm do it's a cover of this thing. So, like, I'm making it, like, funky. Cool. Funk it up. <laughs> you know what's up. <laughs> so what I'm going to do after the intro section is I'm going to get rid of this piano lead because it's obnoxious and just use that chord comping. Uh, maybe in... Yeah, basically that's just getting rid of this right hand stuff. All of you. Goodbye. 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 I think I'm being backed up by DJ Boosh, which is good luck at the very least. <laughs> All right, so if we were like walking into this, right? To, 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 to. Yeah. So one thing that I learned here. It's back. Oh, you know, I thought it, I thought it was, I thought it was here the whole time. Damn. That's no fun. <laughs> Tom again, I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much for waiting around. Um, we can blame Obamacare, that's fine.
Yeah. Basically. Oh, I had an ad for a Nerf gun and a cup of noodles at the same time. The combination is fantastic. This is my impression of Miss Moore 12. I, this is probably not what you sound like, although I think I'm in the ballpark. Where am I with this? That was really epic music. And then you hear very new. <laughs> Thank you. Don't be fooled. There could be someone in the back with a microphone. All these notes sound like they're right. Dude. Just the other night, my dorm had a four-story nerf war. Wow. My division was held up on the third floor. The stairwell for quite some time. That is some intense col- What are you colleging? That's what's going on there, them chords moving past each other. Like ships in the night. Mechanical engineering. A lot of guys are going to take apart some of their guns and make stronger springs. That's pretty smart. Engineering students should be destroying their school with nerf weapons. What say you? Wow, you know what? I was referring to the camera and you're on the opposite side. What's new, man? <laughs> I like why is that the default, you know? Is it just like if it were more like a mirror, I guess, it would make well, less sense. Like, oh yeah. And it's in English, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this section should be the first arpeggiation, yeah. Yeah, those four. Cool, let's just do that. And then the next arpeggiation. which I just don't have the reach for. And I'm pretty happy with that with that repeating. This is pretty inaccurate, but you know, 
Don't ask my opinion about that. Okay, so I need to change my quantization settings. This whole thing seems a bit more correct. I just like to quantize that one note. What the? Escape, it's such a small key. Yeah, and that's pretty manageable. So, I mean, really, I just want these two bars worth. You can call me bars worth, as in I have two bars worth of MIDI. All right, so we need more parts. Uh, what are we messing with right now? Oh, not you, blank chat. Regular chat, what's up? We got some dog tracks tonight, as far as I could tell. I want that emo pack. Philip Aldis, thank you so much for subscribing. Not bad. All right, what else? What else is in this song? So, I mean, this repeats twice, right? Like this section. Uh, and then there's like this other section. Which. That's the wrong instrument. But yeah, all of them. It's beautiful. Sax solo. Oh, okay. It's pretty amazing. Oh, what a nice, what a nice character. I'm doing it. I'm. I, I, it's. It's like too little, too late. But like, I'm. I'm. I don't know. I got no good answers. All of you, all of the Link Wakers and Paldises and. And Tamagis out there, just giving away, just giving away some some stuff. So, oh, also this is at ninety six BPM. Gosh. Got used to it at that slower speed. I'm not even on drugs. You know, I was thinking about chat. I'm glad you're here. Because without chat in the video, we wouldn't actually have any kind of, you know, we wouldn't have record of this, is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it'll be on Twitch for a couple of weeks, right? Until we, until we get it out of the way. But now I've forgotten the line I'm supposed to play. Okay. Uh, I think we need a vibraphone. Mm, yeah. Do you have one that uh, go and that vibrates? Ba 
It's beautiful. How fast is it here? I need a backing track. I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself. doesn't make sense in this context anymore. Let's make that poke Ben on the stream. Did it work? I just got stabbed. You guys should run. Um, I like how you could just vend everything in Ableton. Like I know you're not supposed to, but there's something beautiful about that. How do I feel about this at this point? Sorry, kind of lost track. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, you're recording. It's like almost good. It's so it's so almost good that it's bad. <laughs> it's got some charm. It's wrong, but it's got some charm. When did I play that? The weird thing about this is playing with the drums does not mean playing on the grid. Sometimes. Almost there. Almost good. We're doing fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah. Oh, and then the melody. Okay. All right. Let's get it baselined, I guess. Uh. Pick up a what? A phone tag? this region it does need to be four bars long though just saying like I don't want to be telling tales out of school I'm 
download the song in solo and then draw whatever I want to hear as a reference. You save seconds and those seconds turn into minutes of work. Interesting. That is a good workflow. I'm also, yeah, I could grab a copy of the tune with pretty straightforward ease. And I don't have any means not to. But I'm also kind of building structure. I don't know. I, I don't feel, I don't feel in, it's like working against the zone, right? It's kind of why I like to leave it looping. This also is not very clean. Why is that? You're the right length. Yeah, it's your fault. It's really the drums. I think the drums don't loop on one. This is a theory. No, you look good. You look beautiful. Weird. The bass? What? Who are you? That's what I'm saying. This guy knows what I'm talking about. I see no feel. I guess I just can't be duplicating all my vibraphone work. See it in a beat. Gonna go eat. Oh, I know why. Mario's chilling in the back. Uh, I guess, yeah, we could talk about workflow improvements. I mean, I usually save that. Uh, screw it. We are copying and pasting. No, it's the other button. Uh, this one? Again. <laughs> Dope. Is this one bar? So I'm like getting ideas as I'm going. I want, I want that part, you know? But I want that part like four iterations ago. <laughs> it's kind of terrible. Why aren't you making synth wave? What's the compo this week? What's the compo today? Is there a compo today? What? Is that what it is? Is it a synth wave thing? Can somebody send me a synth wave? I don't even know. When have I ever made a compo track on stream? <laughs> okay, the more I talk, the more I realize I sound like a retard. Yeah, All right. Which is like a combination, really, if you think about it. Go, go, go. Undo. James Rogers is a work in progress. What is this? Let's listen to James Rogers. Ooh.
gotta go find where this conversation is taking place. And stuff. This is Ride Council, right? Okay, good. I guess we're just talking about compression. Look, I gotta get to the end of this track somehow, some way. Next compo, Vaporwave compo. When was this? Today? Seriously? Three hours ago? Is today even the 12th? Is this like where it is revealed that I have no sense of time? Yeah, that was today. Synthwave. Alright. Oh, it started on Sunday. Yeah, but I mean, is it due on the 12th or does it start on the 12th? That's what I'm saying, right? What is this? Reaper? Sub Sabass. Bass. Arp. This isn't a reaper. This is something else. It is reaper. It just looks so blue and wavy. What's happening? Check pins messages. I don't even know how to do that. I'm using ripcord. How do I do that? Open. Pin, pinned messages. Uh, uh, is it you? No, it's like this other button. Uh, maybe it's you. Maybe. Maybe I should just use the regular Discord app. It's a good Reaper theme, I must say. Let's do on December 17th. Jeez. Jeez. So if you, you, you get in there and you keep that piece, okay? I have no idea what's going on. Though I do want to read this conversation silently. Because I can't do all these voices. Only Miss, Miss Mort 12. Only... Hi, everyone. It's like we're all here. Synthwave attempt. Look, I have a thing to do. I have a goal. I was set on a mission by uh, <laughs> somebody whose name I probably scrolled through twice and can't remember. Oh, man. I don't know. I was set on a mission. That's all that matters. Reaper. More like sleeper. <laughs> Okay. Is this battle music? What is this? Mm -hmm. 
same for you same for you man same for you like you're just the wrong you're the wrong everything that's not your fault Good. I see. It's only been one. How many of the games have you gone through? I am personally enthralled with EDV. You know what? I haven't played any games in this series. Um, so, do I start from the beginning? What? I think four is the only one that I've listened to. The one that was, uh, that won the, the one that, the one that won the, the one. <laughs> the one that won the, 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 the top choice from last, from last week. The one that I just missed completely. Um, so that's just the one. I have a lot of I have like a lot of listening to catch up on. I should send out my listening list and then like maybe other people will cry for me. Understand why I'm not caught up. So much stuff. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's that. Show me that melody. <laughs> Ah. Interesting. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, no, not not many. Just the, the my answer remains. Just just the 
Just the one. I'm like the Charlie Bucket of RPG soundtracks. <laughs> This is not a keyboard sound. It's okay. It's all right, man. No harm, no foul. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad C64 is taking that. Open. Just the one. I've only. I've only done the one. You guys are so very versed in the super sweet candy of OSTs. That is, just, you know, I'm gonna s stretch this one like taffy a bit. Mm-hmm. And then but right. before that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I hear, I hear like the, the root moving around, and that's usually, uh, I guess we just do it here, right? Because we have our super steady beat that doesn't ever falter. Which is actually not very different from the beginning. It's just not correct, if not lazy. I just have this mind that is compressing all that into one thing. Adam RB, long time to see. Whoa. Undo. Can I undo the undo? Just 
Doesn't everything feel wrong? I racked up 10 bits on, 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 wait, what? Yo, thank you for these bits. <laughs> hey, tell me about your Twitch achievements. Adam RV, I miss you too. I hope you, I hope you to be well. We're doing pretty interesting things over here as ever. I'm working on a cover right now. Um, offering a little help where I can. Um, right now I need a little help with obscure JRPG soundtracks. Um, this Etrian Odyssey thing seems to be pretty popular though. And it is I who is the old fogey. Go figure. A new game for a new generation. That's cool, man. That's cool. Nothing but love. Man, I only have like 15 minutes left. I need to get to like the super fun part. Actually, this has all been super fun, and I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Uh, no, it's fun. All right, where's this guy? All right, let's just disarm you and arm you. Turn off Lupin real quick. Um, music streams, you know, it's Tuesday. On Tuesday, we do streams of music. There are going to be more music streams right now. Our schedule, I think, is kind of sparse um, for for many reasons uh, that, that you can find out about on Discord, probably, or email me or something. I don't know. Or ask Sophie. She probably knows also. Um, <coughs> but the uh, long story short is, yes, we try to stream at least uh, once a week doing music. I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to get that feel. I'm not a great keyboard player yet, but with a little help, I could be. So yes, to answer your question in brief, yeah, yes. Um, and I definitely appreciate these bits. You watching all these ads and not the stream. <laughs> Oh, the irony. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's fine. I, I, I do appreciate it, though. We are a small and growing team of ridiculous creatives um, that are trying to make stuff better by making better stuff. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good tagline. I'm going to make a hat. Not bad. What kind of music do you like? This is kind of like, for me, I feel like this style is a cop out. Because, whoa. Yeah. Because it's kind of bluesy and it's kind of funky and it's kind of, it's in my comfort zone. So, let's try that. Uh, something like that. Might as well just throw it down. Ring, 
Something like that. Ooh, juxtaposition. It's like an. I have no good words for this. This is why we need music theory. But then, like, other people need to understand those words in order for it to make sense. But it, to me, it's like an inversion. Kind of. I don't know. I'll just try and play it. And well, you know, we'll all make sense of it together. Right? And I need to do these compo things. All right, that's so. Here's here's my mindset. This is where my this is where my head is at. How many projects that I haven't finished yet that I've that I've that I've promised myself to that I've promised my work to other people, things that I think are interesting. How many of those things can I get done by the end of the year? I can't get all of them done, but I can get some of them done. And and how many things are those? You know, how far are we gonna get? Brian Brewell is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. That is a good sign. I hope you're ready for dog tracks. I hope you're ready for ADD drumming. I believe we have another track from Mr. Mad Brain or possibly James Rogers, I think, is in the pipe. I don't remember. I wish you could create custom tabs in Gmail, but, you know, I don't think you can. Because it would make it way easier if you were to email maybe like this track to dogtracksandmintpotion.com. You can have your tracks drummed upon by our very own Brian Dogboy Burwell. Quite the studio drummer. He's got many, many more good years in him. And, uh... Okay, cool. Um, so give me, I guess, five and I'll pee and get. So anyway, a couple chords. I guess I couldn't get the whole remix done in five seconds. I'm sorry. But I'll put these backing chords down and kind of let it roll. And uh, hopefully it's been like a little helpful. I'm, looking on, I'm working on a tagline for my show. It doesn't, hasn't worked out. Ooh. And then there's like a turn around here. Boom, boom. And then to, or whatever. Chords! Uh, anyway, I guess uh, I'll let uh, I'll let it loop. Not not all of you. This is ridiculous. What do you think this is? A, f a, f a high school? You think this is a Nerf war? Um, <laughs> just keep spitting one-liners out there. And you will get a tagline eventually. You are not mistaken. Um, thank you so much for the song suggestion. Please stay tuned for uh, ADD Drumming with Brian. I'm going to let this roll, and we're going to kick this over in a minute here. <laughs> 